Hello everyone, I am here to show you today how to go from a wire frame to a foil figure that has both mass and volume. So the things that you are gonna need is just your wire figure, some aluminum foil, and I have ripped off about 12 sheets of aluminum foil. They're about a 12 foot inch or 12 inches long, not 12 feet, 12 inches, maybe a little bit more. And the way that I'm gonna start is I am going to start working from the head, the chest, the torso, and then I'll talk to you about how to build the arms. So the way that I start is I take one of these pieces of foil and I gently scrunch it into a ball, leaving a little tail or cape. And it's definitely a gentle scrunch, not a tight squeeze. Now the great thing about aluminum foil is it will hold its mass. So if I'm real loose, it will hold a lot of form. And then when I need to tighten or shape something, I can push down on it. The not so great thing about foil is once you smush it down, there's no taking it back. It's gonna stay there. So here's how I like to start. I'll take my little ball and squeeze it into my frame. So the front of my head is kind of puffy and round. And then I'll take the cape or the tail in the back and I'll start using that to continue forming. And by wrapping this over the head, it makes it so I don't have any loose pieces flying around. I'm also forming the neck as I go. So I've got my head started with my neck. And it looks a little bit like an egg and that's okay to start. I'm gonna open my arms up so I can see this a little bit better. Don't worry so much about the tails right now or these little loose pieces. We will tape them down in the next video. So I'm gonna do the chest piece next. So again, start with a sheet of foil, lightly scrunch half of it. Put it into your frame a little. And this is where I flip my figure over and I can use the cape or the tail behind and wrap it over my figure and around so it holds it to the frame. In the start, it looks kind of just like a puffy ball, but that's okay. We're gonna add another layer. So I've scrunched down the front, but the back of him is fairly flat. I wanna make sure that I have a little bit of volume for the shoulders. So I'm gonna do that again. Scrunch the top half. Keep the cape. Work on the back half of the body now. And I'm gonna take this and wrap it down where his hips are start working down to the tummy. Remember, once you press that foil down, it can't be un unsquished. So be careful to only squish it minimal in the beginning. Okay, so I've got that V shape and then I have the torsos and the legs. Now, sometimes the foil is too much for a certain section, so I'll just take it rip it in half. Now again, I'm gonna do the back of his torso. So I start with a little ball, which is where his bum will be. It's almost like a little diaper. I put the puffy part on the back, make sure it's scrunched up for his bum. And I'm wrapping that through and around the legs to lock it in place. If you feel like things are loose, like they're moving on you, you can take a sheet of aluminum foil and treat it like a blanket or a band-aid and you can wrap it over the top of a piece and around to help lock things in place for you without having to use any tape. And it makes it a little bit smoother and easier to see what's happening. So now I have the body all sealed in a blanket. Okay. 
Now the next step is I wanna start working on my arms and my legs. One of the most common things is students will want to just wrap the foil around and around and around, but foil is thin just like paper. So that will just make a thin little skinny arm. So we wanna repeat kind of our scrunching process, but instead of start, starting with the crunch, we're gonna start with a little cone like we did with our first unit. So I'm gonna take my foil, rip it into kind of a square shape, and then I'm gonna make the beginnings of a little cone. Almost reminds me of a paper airplane. So I'm gonna take this, and this is the general shape of an arm anyways. We want the largest part to be up at the body, and then we want the skinniest part to be down at the hand. Now I extend the foil a little past the hand, so I'll scrunch it into the loop, and then I can start gently scrunching the foil around the arm. It always looks kind of fluffy or chunky when I first start, and that's okay. Remember that it'll hold its form or hold its mass for us, and then we can tighten it in where we want it. So I'm gonna make this a little tighter where his hand and his wrist are, and then it gently funnels out or tapers, getting wider as you get towards the shoulder. At this point, I have all these little loose pieces and it feels like my foil is going to fall off. So what I wanna do is I wanna wrap a solid sheet around it so that those pieces don't fall away as I'm working. So I'm just gonna take a blanket and I'm going to wrap it up and around. If the foil rips, that's okay. I just wanna secure and lock some of these things in place. Next, I'm gonna work on his legs and his feet, and I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna start with his feet, though. I'm gonna make a little scrunch for the top of his shoe. So I like my shoe to have a little puff on top, so it looks like that. And the way that I accomplish that is I make a bead at the end or a little puff, and I lay it either on top of or through the loop that we made for the shoe, and then I take that tail of foil and I wrap it around. And then I'll repeat for the other shoe. And I'm gonna treat the legs similar to the way I did the arms. I'm just gonna have longer cones. So I'm gonna take this bottom part, wrap it over the shoe so that the leg and the foot are sealed together and I don't have any floating pieces. feel like I want you want to build up the shape of the legs a little more you can just add another little piece the way we did the shoe like I'm gonna build up the calf a little bit so I'm gonna take make a little ball where I kind of want that calf muscle to be put it over the back of the leg and then wrap the foil around to lock it in place and if it looks too big that's okay remember you can smush it down and I've built up a calf muscle. I can do the same thing. My leg starts getting a little tight in there. If it gets too tight in a spot, you can just build up 
a little bit of foil, wrap it around, and gently mold it to the shape you want. The trick is to be gentle. If you over smush, things will get tight and you won't be able to give it the volume or mass that you want. So better to under smush when you start than to over smush. So now I'm gonna do the last leg and then I will be prepped and ready to start taping. All right guys, there you have it. You should have two figures that are ready to be taped for next class.